Many people enjoy seeing barcodes or colour palettes generated from films, those visual summaries that reveal the key colours defining a film's overall look. They give each story its own unique fingerprint, and there's something really satisfying about seeing a film's colour identity laid out like that. So, I've built that idea into a new DCTL, available on my store for £7, and it's called Barcode. When you apply Barcode to a node, you'll immediately see a generated barcode appear along the bottom of the frame. Let's go through how it works and how you can tweak it to get the most accurate and aesthetically pleasing results from your shot. The first control is sample area. To get the best sense of what this does, enable the checkbox show crosshairs. You'll see a series of small crosshairs across the frame. These show exactly where the DCTL is sampling colors from. Adjusting the sample area slider moves these sampling points vertically allowing you to shift the area being analysed. That's really useful if the strongest colour information in your frame isn't sitting right in the centre. You can just move the sampling area up or down to better capture your scene's dominant colours. Next, we have barcode height. This controls how tall the generated barcode is. Increasing the height pushes it further up into the image. Setting it to one fills the entire frame. By default, there's a white divider line at the top of the barcode, which helps visually separate it from your footage. But if you're filling the frame completely, you can uncheck show divider to remove that line. Once you start adjusting barcode height, you might also find that it covers part of your image that you still want visible. To help with that, there's a reframe image slider. This lets you tilt the composition so you can keep your framing correct while still displaying the barcode where you want it. The next control is number of colours, which defaults to 64. This determines how many colour bars are sampled from the frame. Reducing this number simplifies the barcode, and as you do, you'll notice the crosshairs automatically reposition to keep the sampling points evenly distributed across the image. One important note is that barcode only samples the current frame. That's simply due to how DCTLs work in DaVinci Resolve. They can only process one frame at a time, not across a whole timeline. Maybe that will change in the future if Blackmagic adds temporal processing for DCTLs. For now, I recommend using barcode on stills or keyframes that best represent your project's overall mood and aesthetic. Perfect for creating colour references, mood boards or for using on your own work to share on social media. There's also a demo version of barcode that you can download from my store and you can pick up the full non-watermark tool for just £7. Also, speaking of social media, I've just launched a community Instagram page called Colour by Community. This will be a showcase space for colourists who've used one or more tools from my store in their work. It's also where I'll be posting news about upcoming updates, running polls for feature requests, and sharing some behind the scenes content. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to give it a follow and be there from the very start as the page begins to fill with content. Thanks for watching.